Welcome back to Play the Game HQ. I'm Daniel, and in this video, we're going to teach you how to play Sausage by Joking Hazard, who helps sponsor this video. In Sausage, you're competing to be the wiener by building the most valuable set of sausages, fulfilling orders, and occasionally sabotaging your opponents. To set up the game, give each player a reference card and then make separate piles in the middle of the table for orders, awards, mystery meets, bodies, and heads. First, put one award card on the table face up and put the rest of the award cards back in the box. Then reveal two order cards, two body cards, and one head card face up next to their respective decks. For a three-player game, discard the top four cards from the head deck, and for a two-player game, discard the top six cards. And with four players, you're going to use the entire deck. Sausage is played over a series of rounds where players will be taking turns drawing and placing cards until either the head or the body deck only has one card left, at which point the next player has to play that card, and then the game ends and the player with the most valuable set of sausages wins. The player who most recently ate a sausage goes first, and it doesn't matter what kind, it could be a brat, it could be a hot dog, it could even be a kielbasa. On your turn, you're gonna take one head or body card from either the face-up cards or the top of the deck and place that card into any legal spot in your play area and then replace the card that you took. On your first turn, you're just gonna be starting your sausage tableau, and in later turns, you're gonna be adding to it. Placing cards is how you're gonna build your sausages. You can rotate the new card any way you want as long as it connects to your existing cards along the long side of the card, but it doesn't have to connect to an existing sausage. You can start as many new sausages as you want, but be careful because you get penalized for incomplete sausages at the end of the game. What you aren't allowed to do is block other unfinished sausages. So I couldn't put this card here because it would block this sausage. And once a card is placed, it can't be moved or rotated. As you build your sausages, you wanna do your best to build valid and complete sausages because invalid sausages are removed at the end of the game and incomplete sausages are penalized. A complete sausage has exactly two heads and at least one body card. This is not a valid sausage because it has no body. This is not a valid sausage because it only has a body and this is an incomplete sausage as it only has one head. As you add cards to your tableau, you'll notice a few different types of sausages that all have their own unique abilities, so choose wisely. The green backgrounds are meaty sausages. At the end of the game, whoever has the most meaty cards across all of their sausages will score four points, and whoever has the second most will score two points, unless you're only playing with two players, in which case only the winner scores points. Puff pastry is essentially armor for sausages. Pastry sausages can't be burnt or chomped by mystery meats, which we'll talk about in just a minute. Saucy sausages let you take an extra turn immediately when you join two saucy sausages together. Two saucy cards next to each other doesn't count. They have to actually join up within the same sausage. And spicy cards will score one extra point for each spicy card in a sausage with two or more spicy cards. These small half circles represent mystery meats. Anytime you join two of these icons to create a full circle, take a mystery meat card. You can play it immediately or hold on to it to play during a later turn. If you decide to hold on to it, don't reveal it to other players, and when you do play it, you'll play it in addition to your normal turn. Among our mystery meats, we have burned, chomped, and baby sausages. If you draw a baby sausage, simply set it aside to score one point at the end of the game. Burned and chomped sausages are how you really start to mess with other players. Burned cards are played on top of another player's matching card. Heads on top of heads and bodies on top of bodies. So if someone else drew this burn card, they could play it over this card in my sausage tableau. Burn cards don't score any points at the end of the game, but they also don't block you from adding or completing a sausage. Burn cards have to go on top of an existing card and they can't be placed over puff pastry cards because remember, those are armored sausages. Chomp cards are added to the end of another player's sausage and once the end of a sausage has been chomped, that end can no longer be added to. You can still add cards to the other end of a chomped sausage, but chomp cards cannot be added to or covered up. As you build your sausages, keep an eye on the order goals. These are met by building sausages that match the exact criteria of the order. So I have just completed a magnet sausage. On your turn, if you complete an order, take the card and hang on to it for scoring at the end of the game, then immediately replace it. And if it has a mystery meat symbol, take a mystery meat card. Multiple orders can be claimed on a single turn, but you can't claim orders for sausages completed on earlier turns, so keep a close eye on the orders as you complete your sausages. The end of the game is triggered when there's only one card left in either the head or the body pile, at which point the next player must take and play that card, and then at the end of their turn, the game is over and it's on to scoring. First, discard any invalid sausages. This is sausages with no heads or sausages with two heads and no body. A single head with no body is still a valid sausage. Next, count all of your remaining cards that aren't either burned or chomped and score one point per card, and then add bonus points for spicy and meaty cards. 
For meaty cards, that's four points for the player with the most meaty cards and two points for the player with the second most. And for spicy cards, that's one point for each spicy card in a sausage with two or more spicy cards. So this sausage would score two points for spicy cards, but none of these other spicy cards would score because there's only one spicy card per sausage. Next, you're gonna lose two points for each sausage with only one head or with a chop card on it. So I lose two points for this lone head, two points for this incomplete sausage, and two points for this chop card. Then add all the points for your completed order cards and baby sausage cards. That's four total points from those. And finally, check the award card. The player or players that completed the award card gets four points, and anyone who failed to meet the minimum requirements loses two points. And for sausage-based awards like the Bindia Sausage, only completed sausages are eligible for those awards. Add up all of your points and the player with the most points at the end of the game wins. And that's Sausage. If you have any questions, be sure to leave us a comment below and we'll answer as quick as we can. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you later. Bye.